Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Pueden escucharme. Sí, me pueden escuchar. Hoy sí. Yes. Está lloviendo donde ustedes viven. Sí o no. Good evening. Yes. Yeah, because here is raining. You know. Con la otra clase tuve ese problemita. Se me fue la luz y tuve que meterle para encender la compu otra vez. Así que cualquier cosa, si vuelve a pasar, son cosas que nos pasan a veces, quédense ahí o vuelvan a conectar, ¿ok? Siempre voy a estar aquí en la clase. So, thank you so much for joining today. Who can tell me the date? What day is it today? Is it Monday? Is it Tuesday? What day is it today? Wednesday. ¿Hm? Wednesday. 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 Uh, Wednesday, March. How do we write the date? ¿Cómo escribimos la fecha regularmente? Uh, Wednesday, March 16, 2022. Don't forget, Don't forget to practice this one. Wednesday. With comma. March. March with capital. M. Then we write 16, 16 and then 2022. Roma, 2022 or 2022. Wednesday, March 16, 2022. Siempre eh, en inglés los días y los meses van en mayúscula inicial, ¿ok? Wednesday, March, todos los meses con mayúscula inicial. Para que se nos quede claro cómo escribimos la fecha. Tomémoslo así. Primero escribimos las letras y al final los números. Wednesday, March 16, 2022. 16. Esa es una forma fácil de acordarnos. Y siempre el número que escribimos es un número. ¿Qué tipo de número es este? Ordinal, ¿verdad? Primero, sí. segundo, tercero en español. First, second, third, fourth. That is in English. So we need to add this one. This is just extra information, okay? So don't forget to practice this. So tell me class, how are you today? How was your Wednesday? Was it a good Wednesday? A very tiring Wednesday? How was it? Good. It was good. good. Yes. What else? Like so far so good so far so good i really like that one it was good but yeah not at all very good so let me ask you do you remember the topic that we were covering yesterday what was the topic we were talking about family family, family. what else present present Possessive oh. case. Possessive case. Possessive case. Possessive case. So look, what are we going to do right now? Did you check the platform today? Si tuvieron la oportunidad de checar la plataforma ahora o no? Yes. Yes, yes. excellent. So, eh, demos unos minutos mientras se conecta toda la clase para pasar la asistencia. Here we go. Let's go and visit the platform. If you check, we have some videos, I guess two or three videos talking about the simple present. So let's take a look just, uh, just for a few minutes so we can listen to the pronunciation and some examples and then we are going to have some exercises. Veamos que tenemos en la plataforma. Here we go. Uh, can you listen? She. ¿Sí pueden escuchar? Yes or no? Yes. Hi, everyone. Okay, In this so class, you'll learn how to form yes. simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. 
We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. Okay, cl close attention to that. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. Formula, formula. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb. And um, to school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You ride a bike. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well. And that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever... Okay. If you want to continue watching the video, you can go check the platform, okay? This is just for you to know that we have those exercises there. But as of right now, we are going to have these examples. Take a look at the examples. I am going to give you some time to copy the examples. Right now, just concentrate, read, and listen, okay? And try to participate. Look at this one. Okay, we are going to talk today about, look, simple present statements. Simple present statement. When we say simple present, we refer to actions that are happening every day or that take place almost every day. Acciones que hacemos bien seguido casi todos los días, okay? That's why we call it simple present, in el presente, okay? Simple present. And we have a formula that we are going to follow in order to create a simple present statement. Subject plus verb plus complement. Subject plus verb plus complement. Take it as a review. Si algunos ya saben y manejan eso, tomémoslo como un repaso. Si no, tomémoslo como ejemplos extra fuera de la plataforma. Okay? Simple present statement. And I have some examples here. I take the bus. Okay. Jennifer, can you read the first example, please? First example. <laughs> I take the bus. Uh -huh. I take the bus. Uh, do you remember that we were talking about ways to get to work? How do you get to work? ¿Cómo llegan al trabajo? This can be a very clear example. I take the bus. So can you identify the subject? Subject in this sentence, number one. Subject. I. 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 Verb. Take. Take. And complement. The the Let's have number two. How do you get to work? Let's have Jose Armando. Can you read number two, please? I drive to work. I drive to work. Class, can you identify the subject in this sentence? I. I. Verb. Try. Try. And complement. To work. To work. To work. Okay, to work. So I, whenever we are going to give our personal information, 
we are going to use this subject. I, this is my information, okay? I take the bus, I drive to work. How about if we want to give information from people that I know or from uh, people in general? Usamos diferentes sujetos o pronombres, okay? You take the train, you take the train. We walk to school, we walk to school. Can you identify the subject? Subject in number three. Can you tell me the subject? You. You, well, no. give me a second. I don't like this one, let's make it bigger. There we go. You, can you identify the verb? Take. 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 Okay, take. Can you identify the complement? The train. The train. Oh, the? Train. 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 We walk to school, subject. We. 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 Verb. Walk. Walk. Okay, walk. Compliment. Walk. To school. To school. To school. school. So you see, do we follow the same rule? Seguimos en la misma, eh, en este caso, formula? Yes. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, and complement. I, you, and we. I, you, and we. They. Okay. okay, Christian, Adonai, can you read the last example, please? Uh, they. Take. Mm -hmm. The complete sentence. They take the subway. They take the subway. How do they get to work? They take the subway. Subject. Can you identify the subject? They. They. Verb. They. They. Take. 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 Subway. 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 So look, subject very complement. These are positive, or we can call it affirmative statement. Positive or affirmative. Is this clear, class? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes it is? Yes. Very good job. So I you, we, and they. But what happens if we have he and she, he, she, and it? We call these ones third Always. person, third person. ¿Qué pasa si when... tenemos a la tercera persona? Ah, ahí cambia un poco el afirmativo. He takes the bus. She drives. To work. Right. What do we yeah. add? ¿Qué le agregamos a la tercera persona? S. S. Ah, but be careful. If you notice in the video, he was talking about regular and irregular verbs. Regular and irregular verbs. And he was mentioning three irregular verbs. Mencionó, creo que esto lo vimos allá, tres verbos irregulares en el ejemplo. ¿Se acuerdan de ellos? Si no, yo les ayudo. ¿Quién se acuerda de los verbos irregulares que mencionaba? Go. Sí. Oh, muy bien. Go. Uh, uh -huh. Do. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do. Do. Exactly. And. We are missing one. Have. Excellent, there you go class. Thank you so much. So these three are irregular verbs. So what happens when we have regular verbs, cuando tenemos regulares, simplemente le agregamos S o ES al verbo, pero si son irregulares, conjuguemos, okay? Go, go. Can you tell me a sentence using go? Um, third person. 
Third person, exactly. Third person. No. Oh, wait. It should be. Let me make it smaller. Está muy grande. Bien. She. She goes. Oh, very good. Goes. The verb is go. Then we have goes. She goes, pongámosle to school. To the school. Exactly. Period at the end. She goes to school. Subject, she, verb, goes. Oh. Complement. To school. To school. To school. Yeah. Let's say that we have do. Let's make a sentence using this verb. He does do or that. Does. does. Okay, let's say that he does the, um, the laundry. Do you know what is the meaning of laundry? What is laundry? Lavandería. Ah, he does the laundry. The laundry. Uh -huh. Laundry. Oh, lava la ropa. Okay. He does the laundry. Así se dice en inglés. Does the laundry. Do. Does. Have. He. She. Sería have. O cómo cambiamos este verbo. Has. 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 Sí, muy has. bien. Has. Can you tell me a compliment? She has a car. He has okay, a car. He or she has a car. So the same. Go, do, and have. Goes, does, and have. Okay, let me give you one minute so you can copy these examples, please. Open your notebook, copy these examples. There, okay. One minute. Let me know once you're done and tell me I believe. Don't forget your microphones to mute your microphones, please. Very good. Did you finish? Se está escuchando la misma interferencia de ayer. Yes, right. I don't know why. <laughs> At the beginning, I thought it was me, but not, right? Pensé que era mi micrófono, tal vez mi conexión, pero no. Si ¿Sí me escuchan claro a mí. Yes or no? Yes. Muy bien, muy bien, clase. Qué bueno. So, did you finish? Did you finish? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Very good job. Yes. So, these are third person simple present statements. Okay, here we go. Let's go back. Let's do the same with the other example. These ones. Take one or two minutes so you can write this information down. Please write it down.
one more, one more minute. So you can copy this. You know, here is already raining. It's raining. Pero no se escucha, ¿verdad? La lluvia o sí. Escuchan la lluvia. No. 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 Qué no. bueno, porque si está lloviendo algo fuerte. So, did you finish? Yes. Yes, you did. Yes. Excellent. One extra minute. Simple present statements, subject, plus verb, plus complement. Very good. So let me stop sharing. We are going to, uh, don't forget to have your cameras on, okay? All the time. Cameras on all the time. There you go. Thank you so much. Vamos a tomar la lista de asistencia. Say present or here. If you... Here, your name. Give me a second. Let me see. Second group. Aquí estamos. Okay, Wednesday. Aquí vamos con el miércoles. And Adriana González. Adriana González. Here. Muy bien. Ana Karina. Present. Present. Excellent. Ana Maria Sachs. Present. Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Present. Excellent. Carlos Alberto Villalobos. It's me. Very good. Cristian Adonai Ramírez. Cristian Adonai. Ok. Cristelia Rosalina. Here. Here, excelente. Cristian Alberto Reyes. Yes, sir. Very good. Edgar Francisco. Edgar Francisco Galeano. Teacher, tomó mi... Tomo mi... Cristian Ramírez. Present. Ramírez, ok. Yes, I did. Por eso lo hago un poco lento, porque a veces siento que les cuesta encender el micrófono. O tienen que el yes. Ramírez, acá estamos. Present. Ok, gracias. Edgar Francisco, present, right? Edgar Isaac. Edgar Isaac. Okay, give me a second. Wait. Um, Eric Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Mercedes. Present. Ok, Joaquín Antonio. Present, teacher. Bien, Joana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Present. Jorge Alberto Hernández. Present. Ok, José Armando Hernández. Present, teacher. Present. Juana Beatriz Díaz. Juana Beatriz. Ok. Catherine Larisa. No. Present okay. teacher. Oh, ok, bien, there you go. Kevin Alexander. Here, teacher. Here, teacher. Excellent. Marlon Ovidio. Here. Very good. Rebeca Abigail. Present teacher. Excellent. 
René Eduardo. René Eduardo Guardado. Ok. Roxana Beatriz. Present. Very good. Samuel Eduardo Pineda. Present. Excellent. Sandra Cecilia. Present. And Yesenia Claribel. Ok. Thank you so much. Don't forget, es bien importante que nos conectemos a tiempo también y que en la lista de asistencia no se me pase sin que los agregue o que por, que no mencionaron, se nos pase y ponerles ausencia. Estemos siempre bien pendientes. Ok. So, let's go back to the topic. Simple present. Simple present statement. Now, we have the same or similar examples, but using in this case an auxiliary we are going to create negative statements negative statements how do we get to make simple present statements in negative form que vende diferente en la fórmula que le agregamos what is extra in this formula the auxiliary is a negative to use in the we have auxiliary, auxiliary. So what is the complete form? Complete form for this auxiliary. Do not. Do not equals to. Don't. Okay. Does not equals to. Doesn't. So when are we going to use do and when are we going to use doesn't? Yes, you use it do when I'm talking about the uh -huh. uh, I, the so you, you use the subject and I, you, I, and I, you, what else? You. Um, no, no, no. You're, we, uh, they. We and they. Yeah, Excellent job. I, you, we and they. We are going to use do not or don't. How about does not or doesn't? He, the person. He, person. She. Exactly. He, she or and. It. 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 So don't forget this one. If you keep this information in mind, you are not going to, um, you're, you're going to be able to create this sentence. Esta es la base. Recordar cómo se forma las oraciones. So do not equals to don't. And you are going to use don't with I, you, we, and they. On the other hand, you're going to use does not equals to doesn't with the third person. He, she, and it. He, she, and it. Okay? So here we go with examples. Look. I, you, he, she, we, and they. Number one. Number one. I, let me have six volunteers. Raise your hand, please. If you want to help me out reading, raise your hands. I need six volunteers. I have one, two, three, four, five. Just one more. Six, there you go. I have six volunteers. Excellent. Jorge, number one. Jorge Hernandez, number one. Read, please. I, I don't live far from here. Okay, tell me the subject. Oh, okay. Subject I. Okay. Auxiliary. Don't. Verb. Live. Complement. Far from here. Excellent job, Jorge. Kevin, continue, please. Okay. Uh, you don't live me here. Okay. Identify the subject. Uh, you. Auxiliary. Uh, do ah, but it's uh, negative. Don't. don't excellent verb live 
and compliment. Me too. Excellent job. Sandra Cecilia, go ahead and continue. He doesn't work downtown. Very good. Subject. He. Compliment. I'm um, sorry. Auxiliary. Downtown. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Doesn't. Doesn't. Verb. Uh, work. And compliment. Downtown. Very good job. Rebecca. Continue. She doesn't drive to work. Okay, subject. She. Auxiliary. Doesn't. Verb. Drive. Compliment. To work. Very good job. Ana Maria, you're next. Okay. We don't live alone. We don't live alone. Subject. We. Auxiliary. Don't. Verb. Live. And complement. Alone. Excellent job. Cristelia, last one, please. Last but not least. They don't need a car. Let's do the same subject. They. Auxiliary. Don't. Verb. Need. And complement. A car. A car. So let's do this. Now we have negative statements. I need you to help me out making these negative statements into affirmative statements. Vamos a pasarlos a afirmativos. How do we do it? Let's see. Can you please try? Oh, I have three others, but I need different volunteers, different volunteers. Adriana, Adriana, number one, make it affirmative. Number one, Adriana. Adriana, can you hear me? Sorry. Okay, number uh, one, I live, Very good. I live from here. So, I live far from here. Excellent job. That is affirmative now. Very good job. Jennifer, continue. You live near here. Excellent job. Now it's affirmative. Let me see who's next. Carlos Alberto Villalobos. Villalobos. Continue, please. Okay. The world downtown. Okay. Are we missing something, class? Or is this statement correct? He worked downtown. He worked downtown. Is it okay? Or are we missing something? Um, Tell us Ah, exactly. Yes. Well, final song. See. Exactly. Uh -huh. So let's make it bigger because I don't like it that small. And in red. Excellent. We need to add third person at the end. S to this verb. He works downtown. Excellent job. Excellent job. Who's next? Do I have um, Joaquin, can you try, Joaquin? Joaquin. She drive to work. She drive to work. Is that okay, class, or are we missing something? And yes, work. Yes, that is third person. Third person. He, she drives to work. Excellent. Marvin, go ahead, continue. Marvin, are you there? Okay, yes, it's not. Okay, Eric, Eric. Yeah. 
we live alone. One more time. Okay, we live alone. Very good job. We live alone. And the last one is for, I have Marlon, Marlon Ovidio. Go ahead. They need a car. They need a car. So, they need a car. So, tell me, ¿de qué o qué función tiene el auxiliar en este caso? ¿Mm? Negación. Negación. ¿Qué pasa si se lo quitamos? ¿Qué necesitamos hacer con he, she, and it? Add S. Add and S. Pero no olviden que le agregamos S o ES a los verbos regulares. Los irregulares suelen cambiar un poquito. ¿Ok? So, questions about this. Preguntas sobre esto. Negative statements. Negative statements. Yes or no, class? Negative no. statements. No. Ok, so, look at this one. What if we have this one? Les pongo un ejemplo. Miren, he do drive to work. He doesn't drive to work. ¿Será posible hacer este tipo de oración usando do? ¿Sí o no, clase? No, es que das. ¿Mm? El das, que no sería. He does. El segundo. Ajá, El segundo, pero sí. ¿por qué creen? Cuando uso do. Yes or no? The do is only you using I, you, we, they. Pero sabían ustedes que podemos usar el do también. Yes, como auxiliar. Como auxiliar, pero cambia el significado. ¿Qué pasaría si yo digo he do drives to work? ¿Qué pasa si yo digo he do drives to work? Agregamos la S. Saben que nosotros podemos hacer eso también. Lo voy a borrar otra vez. He do drives to work. En este caso, el significado to, uh -huh, do simplemente nos sirve para hacer una como afirmación o darle fuerza a la afirmación. Miren, no está actuando como un complemento o como negativo, sino que decimos... Digamos que nosotros estamos dando información de él y decimos, no, he takes the train. Y insistimos nosotros, he takes the train to work. Pero viene alguien y nos dice, no, he do drives to work. He do drives to work. Se fijan en la fuerza, la entonación que decimos, no. O Sería como maneja, un mandato o algo así. Él maneja a su trabajo, es como estoy doble afirmando o dándole fuerza a mi afirmación de que no, él no viaja en tren, sino que él maneja a su trabajo, si se fijan es una afirmación it's, dime it's similar when you use going to for example, I am Ajá. going to go to the beach or Ajá. you use and will I will go to the beach exactly. so it's similar, similar. Mm -hmm. so Pongámonos el ejemplo. Clase, did you understand? Did you get it? Entendimos la clase. I do understand. I understand. Miren la primera y miren la segunda. I do understand, teacher. I don't have questions about this. Yes, I understand. I understand. Si se fijan, le damos claridad o mayor realce y afirmación a la oración. Si se fijan el significado, I do understand. Yo sí entiendo, no me queda, pero nada de duda. En la segunda, 
I understand. Puede ser que quede tal vez alguna Pero, duda. ¿cuál es la diferencia ahí? Simplemente usamos do para realzar, realzar mm. la afirmación. Pero no, no es necesario, o sea, no, no es que sea como obligatorio que vaya el do. No, en este caso es solo mm. cuando queremos nosotros realzar y reafirmar que algo así es. Para eso es, no como darle, es como darle poder a la oración, por Muy decir bien. así. Muy bien, si lo queremos ver así. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Do you understand? I understand. I do understand. No me queda ninguna duda. Si se fijan, es para darle realce. Pero esa es otra forma y es extra information. Por si ustedes alguna vez leen eso, no se vayan a preguntar qué pasa. ¿Ese es un verbo? ¿Es un auxiliar? No. En afirmativo es para realzar. ¿Ok? Very good job. So, I can use it, for example, I say, mm -hmm. I do get it. I do get it. Exactly. Estás reafirmando. I do get it. Por ejemplo, si yo les digo, ¿se saben los números del 1 al 5 en inglés? I do, I do get it. I do know numbers from 1 to 5. Sí me lo sé, me están súper afirmando que sí me los puedo. ¿Ok? Uh, do you live in San Salvador? I do live in San Salvador. I don't live in La Unión. ¿Ok? I do live in San Salvador. Yo sí vivo en San Salvador. Es una doble afirmación, ok? But this is extra information. Very good. Questions about this? Yes, no, is it clear? Yes, it is or no, teacher? I need more examples. It's clear. It's clear. Very good. So let's move on. Look what we have here. We have an exercise. Let's practice. I have a short conversation or a short paragraph that we are going to complete the first time individually. Let's take the time, write it down on your notebook, and then we are going to discuss, discuss about this one. Okay, here we go. Right now, write it down. Escribámoslo. And try to complete. My family, and I. And an extra hint for you. Para que no nos cueste identificar que vamos a usar si leave or lips, let's leave. Hagamos esto, clase. My family and I, este es el primer sujeto. Si quiero cambiar my family and I por un pronombre, ¿cuál usaría? We. We. Ah, entonces, como ya sé que we, voy a usar el verbo live. live. No usaría lives porque no es he or it. Esa es una forma también más fácil de saber identificar cuál verbo es el correcto. Okay? Identify subjects. Y si me cuesta saber, lo cambio por un pronombre. Okay? My family and I. Oh, look at, look at this one. It's the same. My wife and I. We. Okay. And we have we, another subject here. Me puedo sujeto acá. We. We. Ah, look at this one. Tenemos otro sujeto. Our son. Cambiémoslo por un pronombre. Our son. Nuestro hijo. Our son. He. He. Very good. Uh -huh. He. We. Oops. It's right here. Okay. So complete that exercise. Then we are going to confer this in group. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, yes you did? No? No. No. Yes. Yes, no. So I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp right now. Todos estamos ya en el grupo de WhatsApp, en el chat de WhatsApp. Yes or no? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. So get to the next one. Teacher. Eh, teacher, eh, yo no estoy en WhatsApp. Okay. Yo no puedo entrar. No sé si me puede enviar el enlace otra vez. Sure. Don't worry. Thank you. So here we go. Let's join. No, but let me do this. Vamos a enviar esto primero y luego nos unimos a los grupos. Please, practice with your classmates. Practice. Here we go. What's up? Here we go. Okay, second group. Here we go. Okay, go and check what's up. Teacher. Yes. Una consulta. Tell me. Escucha, teacher. Yes, I can hear. Okay. Sí, Phil, estaba diciendo que este, no pude entrar ayer al grupo de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Es que me salí de la reunión y después volví a entrar y ya no me pareció el enlace. Ok. So, ahorita se le envío. Ok, muchas gracias. You're welcome. Grupo de 9 a 10, aquí está. So, the rest of the class, please join your groups. Try to compare, okay? Compare what you have written down. Ahí está ya el enlace en el chat por si no se han unido a WhatsApp. Ustedes puedan ir, unirse y ver el contenido. Voy a enviar nuevamente la imagen, ¿ok? Uh, let me ask you, Eric, Joaquín, Ana María, Christian, Jennifer, Roxana, ¿tuvimos problemas para unirnos al grupo? ¿A los grupos de trabajo? Yo ahora no, no, ahorita. Voy a ahorita. Voy a... Yes, Joaquín. Yes. Ahí estamos. Muy bien. Unámonos al grupo de trabajo, please. Excelente. I'm just missing Joaquín, Beatriz, Edgar, Christian, and Roxana. There you go. Christian, Edgar, Roxana, did you have problems to join the group? Creo que tengo problemas con internet porque estoy todo cortado. Entiendo. Me imagino que no apareció la notificación para unirse al grupo de trabajo. No. Bien, probemos otra vez. ¿Y ahora? No, no me sale nada. No le sale nada. Ok, so let's work here. Trabajemos acá, don't worry. Ok, let's try here. My family and I. My family and I. Live or leaves? Live or leaves? Live. Great job. Very good. Leaves. Live. Okay, in the, my wife and I, that is the second one. My wife and I work or works. My wife. Yes, class. My wife and I work or works. Creo que sería work. Bien, excellent. Work near here. So we walk or walk. Works. Ah, veamos el sujeto. El sujeto es we. we. Entonces, si tenemos we, sería walk or walks. Sería work, work. Very good. Walk. Uh -huh. To work. Our son. 
don't or doesn't? Or doesn't. Doesn't, excellent job. Doesn't drive. Drives. Very good, he drives his bike to school. Excellent job. So let me visit your classmates. Voy a visitar a tus compañeros. Give me a second. De que sí se ha recibido. Questions que about si the exercise? El material. Hmm. Questions about the exercise? <laughs> no? no? Did you finish? Yes. Yes? Was this easy or difficult? Easy. 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 Oh, okay, I'm glad to hear that. Very good job. Class. Hey, this meeting is Did you finish or you're comparing? Right. We are comparing. La última sería he rides. Ahí le vamos a cambiar. My wife and I work meet here. So we work to work or or some dancing drive. He rides his bike to school. Uh, the next. Y la, la otra sería. Rides. Rides. Sí. Con S. Correcto. Siempre cuando lleva he, she, it, eh, se, se le agrega. Se le agrega la E. Vale. No sé qué dice. Karina, está bien. Chico. It's time to go back. We go. Tell me, class, how was this exercise? Was this easy, difficult? How was it? How was this exercise? Easy, difficult? Is this topic clear? Do we need more practice? ¿Cómo lo sienten? Vamos a ver, sí, sí. veamos si es cierto. Aquí vamos, let's check. Chequemos las respuestas. My family and I. Wait, just give me a second. Me falta aquí un espacito. My family and I. Bien, vamos. Live. Live. Oh, live or live? Live. 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 Ajá. Perdón. No confuse, no, don't worry. Eso se parece mucho a la pronunciación. Live and live, ¿ok? And I... Excellent. Continue. In my wife and I... Work. Work. Oh, my In wife and I... My wife work. and I... Work or work? Work. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. So, we... Want to work. We... Walk, walk to work. Walk, walk to work. Our son, don't or doesn't? Doesn't. 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 He doesn't drive. He right or right? Right. 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 Where did I take this exercise from? ¿De dónde tomo toda esta información, estos ejemplos? Let me show you. So you can be ready. Go and check this one. Todo el contenido lo tomamos de la plataforma, ¿ok? Así que vayan, chequen la plataforma. For tomorrow, Thursday, para el jueves. ¿Se acuerdan cuál era nuestra meta para el jueves? Tener completo hasta... Section, Section, number two. Section number two. Muy bien. 
And let me make it bigger. Quiero ver. No, aquí está. It's right here. Aquí, miren. This is an exercise. Es un ejercicio de el libro. So, I took it from here. Acá están los ejercicios. ¿Quieren practicar más? Acá está. So, if you go, check the course. There you're going to have similar exercises. Okay, similar or, I don't know if those are the same, but similar exercises. Miren. There we go. Knowledge check. Aquí va. Seleccionamos la opción correcta. Ya practicamos. Otro ejemplo. My parents have or has. Aquí estamos. And so on. Okay. So please take some time. Miren, ¿cuántas son? Son three. Oh, solo tres. Tres ejercicios. Conversaciones. Tres ejercicios. ¿Cuánto creen que nos toma completar eso? Five, ten minutes. That's right. Around five, ten minutes to complete those exercises. So, for tomorrow, Thursday, you need to have section number one and section two completed. Completa totalmente. No el viernes, el sábado, el domingo, teacher. No. Thursday, jueves. So we can go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and practice these topics. And then on Monday, we come back ready to continue with the topics, okay? Questions about this? Preguntas sobre el simple, present, affirmative Teacher. statements, and negative. Tell me. Teacher, yes. uh, I have in mind uh, four rules about the Third person, bear about the third person. Okay, go ahead. Um, I remember that uh, no, no is necessary add letter S in all verbs for third person. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, some verbs uh, that end in letter O, X, D, S, mm -hmm. S, 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 H, H or C, H, we need add in the end, we need add letter E and F. I E S, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, the, other, the other rule is the uh, when the verb end in letter Y, we need add letter I E S. Mm -hmm. For example, play. Again. And I remember that uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Go ahead. Bear, uh, the, siga, siga. Vamos muy bien. I remember that at a modal verb, for mm -hmm. example, can, we don't need to add letter S. ¿Por qué? Porque can se convierte en Porque esos son? Modal verbs. Exactly, modal verbs, exactly. So, can you repeat again the example with S? Uh, you said play, play, right? Mm -hmm. Play. Oops. Tenemos este verbo, play. Uh -huh. Play. Letter uh -huh. Y change. Uh, I, E, S. Place. En este caso sería place. Ah, pero pongamos otro no. ejemplo. Ya sé, no, study. No todo, en todos los casos. No. Um, study. Miren, study se convertiría en. Uh -huh. Studies. I E S. Uh -huh. So, studies. Esta es la regla. Uh -huh. Sí, clase. Eso también es importante eh, manejarlo. No solo es agregarle S, como les decía. Depende si es un verbo regular, irregular. Y tener cuidado con las reglas, que más que todo es al final. Al final. Si quieren, hagamos algo. Vengo yo, les busco una imagen con esas reglas. Se las comparto en el chat, ¿ok? Para que nos quede claro. Muy bien, Jorge. Gracias. 
Si se fijan, lo que les dije al inicio del curso, todos nos apoyamos, entre todos intercambiamos información, ¿ok? Voy ahorita, les busco esa imagen con las reglas. Si tienen alguna pregunta, hagámosla en el chat o mañana estemos listos para hacer todas las preguntas, ¿ok? La idea es que no solo venga yo y hable, sino que todos compartamos e intercambiemos information, ¿ok? And please, una vez más repito, es importante que escriba su nombre completo tal cual aparece en el DUI para que cuando nosotros pasemos la asistencia quede su nombre completo. Solo veo, creo que Beatriz, Beatriz, escribamos el nombre completo siempre al ingresar. Segundo recordatorio, en el chat de WhatsApp les pidieron enviar la carta, ¿verdad? De que ustedes ya tienen el manual. ¿Sí? El manual del estudiante, ¿saben dónde encontrarlo? Sí. El que les acabo de mostrar en la plataforma. La plataforma. Ajá. Si tienen acceso a la plataforma y al curso, ahí está su manual. Entonces, si alguno queda pendiente de enviarlo, hagámoslo. ¿Y qué otra indicación? Section 1 and 2 for tomorrow. Preguntas, clase. ¿Algo más que agregar? ¿No? Sí. No. And thank you, Jorge. So, if not, we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much, class. And have a great night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you bye tomorrow. Bye bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. The picture. Teacher. Teacher. Una consulta. Dime. Eh, el, el grupo de WhatsApp es el homework que aparece ahí. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí aparece el grupo. No, el grupo de WhatsApp tiene un nombre. Wait, let me help you. 